Midnight had passed, and the intoxicated madness kicked in. We could only crawl along Shalva District's main street toward downtown. The city's heart beat differently. Ancient buildings were defaced by neon signs and billboards. Like half-drunk lovers on a fine leather sofa, great old houses neighbored by garish modern blocks. A place that makes the head hurt. The Tsar's huge neon sign was visible for miles. A blazing red sign advertised tonight's main attraction, the amazing Natasha. Uh, cops were never welcomed at places like this. They hoped we were too late for the show. We had to be inconspicuous, but it was never easy with this bird mountain by my side. Ah, so this is the famous Czar Club. More like infamous, Marty. It's not for our kind, that's for sure. And I don't mean that they don't like foul here. Well, at least we don't have to be afraid that they see you as a detective, Boss Bird. Very funny, Marty. So what are we gonna do now? We find Natasha, the broad who sent me the message, remember? But first, we need to get into the club. And Marty, please, don't monkey this up. <gasps> Excuse me? On behalf of the well-respected and noble primate community of Clawville? Cut the crap, Marty. Let's focus on what we're here for, okay? As you say, Boss Bird. Honestly, I think these types of women only see faceless tuxedos, cufflinks, and wallets. And in the mirror, they're just brooches, necklaces, and earrings. Don't be so radical, Marty. They're women. They live by different rules. Hmm, that was kind of deep. It's not. Just bullshit. There's more where that came from. Ooh, teach me, master. When you're old and wise like me, you'll realize none of it is worth a damn thing. Wait, that was deep again, right? Maybe it was, Marty. Maybe it was. Amazing. Oh, look at that. Isn't that the new... It is, Marty. A brand new 942 Silver Hawk. Haven't seen such beauty since I left Averia. Of all that's furry, whose is it? Maybe it's Ibn Wessler's. I guess he's no paper tiger. Yeah, he sounds like a fellow who drives around in one of these. Lucky bastard. Do you remember when the Clawville Chronicle was a really high-quality newspaper? You mean when they wrote something about us daily? Yeah. What exactly happened to them? Well, they got bored with us, Marty. And to be honest, so did I. But still, here we are working together again. Funny, huh? Yeah, hilarious. Like this. Why is that? I don't know. Cause it's moving, I guess. You're a simple bird, aren't you? Yes, I am. One day, neon signs will cover the whole world, I'm telling you. You read that in some kind of science fiction book. No, it's just what I think. Oh, so you have your own thoughts now. The world's really moving forward. Pluck off, Sonny. Ha! 
Huh, you know, seeing this, I can't wait for the show. The girls? New Year's Eve's once a year, right? And we're not on duty. Have I asked how Laura's doing? Whoa, hey, I, <laughs> I was just kidding, okay? My relationship with Laura is unwavering, like the rhino beauty on this picture. Interesting taste you've got. Feathers, scales, or dermal armor, a lady's a lady, my friend. Thank the wild gods for self-sacrificing gentlemen like you. That's your old friend, right? Wait, what was his name? Uh, Lawrence? Lamar? No, Liam. Lewis. Yes, it's him. To be honest, Sonny, I always thought that guy's not all there in the head. Nobody's perfectly sane in Clawville, Marty. But if not for this old rabbit, I wouldn't be here today. I'll never forget that. Should I thank him for that? Or kill him for it? You're reading my mind, boss. Sonny, my dear friend. Hi, Lewis. This is my partner. But I'm sure you already know. You have no idea how happy I am to meet you, Mr. Marty. I'm a big admirer of your work. Pleasure's all mine, Lawrence. Lawrence? <clears throat> Anyways, so, the legendary chicken police back together? <laughs> Isn't it amazing news? Don't ruffle my feathers, Lewis. Those days are long gone. We're just here for the entertainment. Or something like that. I see. That's a shame. See you inside? I have s s something to do, my f f f f f pal. But I'll try to make it for the main event. Okay, then. Catch you later, pal. Geez, look at that guy. That's not a guy. That's a demon. Straight from the dog-eared pages of a cheap detective novel. Yeah, I bet his name's Bill. Nah, he's definitely a Bob. Five bucks for Bill? Okay, I'm in. Howdy, pal. Gentlemen, how can I help you on this wonderful, chilly night? We're expected in the VIP lounge. My apologies, but I don't remember ever seeing you gentlemen here before. May I ask? Uh, stop right there, big guy. I get it. Yeah, I know exactly how this works. So what do you have to do to get in? Nothing's easier, sir. Are you on the list? The list? Yeah, I... Uh, uh... Oh, don't tell me you forgot. I'm afraid I did, Marty. Sorry, big guy, but I'm pretty sure we're not on the list tonight. That's a shame. I'm really sorry, sirs. In that case, you can't come in. Yeah, right. Uh, thanks. My pleasure, gentlemen. Look, I really don't want any trouble, but... It is even more inconvenient for me, sir, but... This place doesn't like, uh, coppers. Forgive this line. I can't let just anybody in, and there are some I am strictly forbidden to. Please, you have to understand. Listen here, you cow. Do you have any idea who we are? You ever read the papers? Of course I know who you are, sir. I get the news and more. And I must admit, it's an honor to meet you in person, Mr. Santino Featherland and Mr. Marty Machikin. The Bell of the Pantheres is one of my favorite books. Oh my god, not the books again. So it would be terribly inconvenient for me if I had to use force on you, gentlemen. What, what did you just say? Relax, Marty. This guy has chicks like you for breakfast. Uh, thanks for the information, pal. Uh, have a nice night. Thank you for understanding, gentlemen. And forgive me for my austere composition. 
No problem, Shakespeare. Say, big guy, you know Mr. Lewis Hayworth? But of course. Mr. Hayworth is an impeccable gentleman, and also a frequent visitor of the club. Is that so? Good to know. And? I'm afraid that is all, monsieur. What can you tell me about the first lady of the place, big guy? Uh, you mean Miss Natasha Katsenko, sir? You're right on point, pal. Nothing you don't know already, sir. Just try me. Well, she owns the place. And, uh, that's it? Well, that's, uh, <clears throat> unbelievable. Pardon, monsieur, but I'm not permitted to say anything more. Just one more thing. Uh, this list of yours, uh, where should we sign up again? I'm afraid if you don't know, it's not my place to tell you, sir. Uh, Excusez-moi, the, the regulations, you know. You hear that, Sonny? I do, Marty. I do. I'm gonna lose my crest from this guy. Just wait. Just don't get too excited, Marty. Not tonight. Anyway, uh, thanks, pal. That fellow's built like a brick shithouse. I don't think we'll be able to just sneak past him. Wanna bet? Not today, Marty. Remember, we must avoid suspicion. Ah, okay, okay. No trouble. I get it. It's okay, Bertha. Maybe next time. What was that? Uh, nothing. Just the wind. Did you bring Big Bertha with you? Gods, no. What are you thinking? What idiot would bring a shotgun to a club? Was that a rhetorical question? Look, Lewis, that bouncer over there. Well, yes, he is a bit intimidating, but his manners are impeccable. Am I right? Yes, indeed, but it seems tonight we're not on his list. Oh, I see. <clears throat> oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> You'd like to go in, but he won't let you. Yeah, something like that. No, 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 no problem at all. Come with me. I'll t -t 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 talk to him. Much obliged, pal. Yeah, thanks, Bunny. Excuse me. Ah, oh, jeez, what the hell's wrong with you, Marty? What? Did I say something wrong? Sir, how'd you do? Everything's fine, Mr. Aworth. Good. <clears throat> uh, look, this noble pair of p p pigeons are my friends. They're on the list, okay? Merci la mon, sir. Uh, and as for you, <clears throat> you owe me one, g g gentlemen. Thanks, old pal. It was my p p pleasure to help you, as always. The jazz overwhelmed us. There was no band in sight, yet the music seeped from the walls like years of cigarette smoke and the smell of spilt whiskey. Behind the bar, rows of fancy bottles reflected the harmonious voices of pretty dames and the clinking of crystal glass. It was the kind of place that makes you drunk, even if you've never had a sip. A dangerous place for someone like me. No matter how alien I felt, it was strangely like coming home. Welcome to the Tsar. Well, here we are. Mother of... I take you to the nicest places, eh, sweetheart? Oh, does it mean you're buying, honey? Don't even think about it. Oh, men these days. So, we're here to find a dame called Natasha. I have a hunch she won't be hard to find. Let's mingle and try to avoid suspicion. Just like always. No, Marty, not like always. This time it's for real.
there's Filmar. Who? Oh, yes. Filmar. Because that's what he calls himself, right? You know him well? We had some seriously wild cases together, yes. Mainly in Averia, way before Clawville. Another place and another life. Sounds good. Like the blurb of some cheap Pulp Fiction book. Yeah, it was the exact opposite. But the old bird's worth saying hi to. Well, well, if it isn't the great detective, Marlowe. Blow me, Sonny. You know I don't use that name anymore. Okay. Mr. Dumbass Alias Phil Marlowe. So says someone who tried to go undercover with the Feather Pillow Mafia is a turkey. Right, Mr. Turk Cayman? Hey, that was a long time ago. I was young. And I stick to my principles and my stupidity. Phil Marlowe and that's that. Don't rile me up, you old fart. Okay, okay, fair enough. Sorry, I'm a little clucked tonight. Uh, I know the feeling, pal. By the way, what are you two doing here? You stick out a bit. Are you here for a good old-fashioned beating? We stick out? Man, you look terrible. Like someone who sat on an electric pole. Don't even ask. I feel exactly like that. You want a case? Five feet tall, half of that legs. Angelic voice, demonic eyes. Just the usual. Oh, boy. And you? Something like that. Just don't know the exact numbers yet. A dame named Natasha. She called us here. If I'm not mistaken, the joint is hers. Yeah, she owns the joint, amongst others. Well, good luck, guys. That broad has a reputation. She's not the kind to toy with, if you know what I mean. Any useful information? For free? Stop clucking around, Philmar. All right, but just because of the old days. Look for me after you've talked to her. You wouldn't understand what I have to say about her before then. Don't leave unless you're thrown out, in which case, you know the drill. We don't know each other, I'll deny you in a blink. Good to see you too, old pal. We'll be back. Kid, and no horsing around. I've never heard that one before. Uh, Sonny, you gotta drive, you know? Yeah, you're right, Marty. Hey, long face, give me a glass of tap water, too, okay? Yes, sir. Coming right up. That wasn't exactly what I meant. As I recall, you're always bragging about hiding your shotgun in your coat so well, no one can see it. Sure. Maybe I have it with me now. <sighs> what? Well, do you see that bottle, Marty? That's a 28-year-old Golden Eagle whiskey. Of all the furry gods, you're right. And they've just left it on the bar. Someone ordered it, got so drunk he forgot all about it. So? So we're confiscating it as evidence. <sighs> yeah. Well, more like stealing it. But if it's easier for you... Ah, you're twisted, pal. But to be honest, I have no objections. Hmm. Look, uh, Sonny, I know it's not my place, but... Laura's father went to that guy when his, you know, problems uh, had gone too far. You're treading on thin ice, Monty. No, I just... <laughs> Look, fellas at the station are talking, you know? All kinds of things. Moses, Plato, Bosco, and the others. Talking, eh? About what? About why Blood Boil took my badge? About what an untrustworthy alcoholic wreck I am? Look, uh, I'm sorry, it doesn't matter. Good. And let it stay that way. At least we're cracking this one together, yeah? Sure, Marty. Tell me, Haybreath, 
Have you seen Natasha tonight? Not yet, sir, but she's coming on soon. Well, can you tell me anything about Mr. Ibn Wessler? Sir, I... I don't want to. What about, let's see, five dollars, maybe? But, sir, you haven't even paid for your drinks yet. Yeah, yeah, stop riding on the details, Big Nose. You do your job, and we'll do ours, okay? I mean, we're not here for work, of course. We're just here to relax. Oh, yeah, exactly. Just a little fun. Of course, gentlemen. Gentlemen, your drinks. Yeah, uh, sorry, but we have to run. Uh, thanks anyway, Bojack. Ugh, my name is not Bojack. Yeah, I tip you, pal, but I don't have any change, so... Sure, sir. The Tsar welcomes you back anytime. Sounds good, Bojack. Anything else, sirs? Uh, no thanks, Mr. Ed. Keep up the good work. She has pretty long legs. I mean, pretty and long legs for a squirrel, but I don't want to be prejudiced. We're not here to stare at pretty squirrels. We're here to investigate, remember? 